welcome back to the 52 week organizing challenge and this week we're going to be focusing on our kitchen drawers and cabinets. I have a few tips to share with you on how to keep your kitchen drawers and cabinets organized before I show you um, how I've organized my own. So first tip is to make sure that when you are organizing your cabinets and drawers you sort of have things placed in an area that makes the most sense for your kitchen. And by that I mean you want to put your pots and pans next to your stove so that way it's easily accessible when you're cooking. Your pot mitts or um, hot, you know, what are those called? Hot mitts um, next to the stove. So again, you don't have to be going all over the kitchen when you're trying to get things done. You want to have your plates and your silverware and your cups all in one general area so it will be a lot easier to put them away when you're done washing them and it's a lot easier to actually get them down and ready to set the table. Um, so just having things sort of put in a place that makes the most sense for your kitchen is very helpful. Another tip I have is to try to keep your cabinets and drawers as decluttered as possible because it's hard to find things when it's a ton of clutter in there. One way I really try to help stay on top of my kitchen drawers and cabinets is by going through them seasonally. So when the weather changes or the seasons are changing, I literally take maybe a half an hour, if that, just going through everything that we have and purging what we no longer need or use. And that way you're always making sure that your space stays organized and decluttered. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys how I have my kitchen set up. I'm just gonna start from one end of the kitchen and work my way around. I have a very small kitchen, um, but it does work really well for us. We have a family of five and I run a home daycare and I find um, I'm not really running out of space. I really have things set up in a functional way, which is half the battle. So I'm gonna share with you guys how I have it set up. All right guys, one tip that I forgot to mention is to make sure that you keep things that are not used all the time in the harder to reach areas. So for example, this section over here of our kitchen, which is right here, um, sort of in this little corner, um, it's not a really easily accessible space. So we keep things that we don't necessarily use on a regular basis over here. This cabinet over here, which is on to like top of the fridge area, um, is nearly impossible to get to. I'm very sure and I just cannot get to that cabinet. So I actually leave that one empty for now because I just can't get to it. So there's no sense of putting anything in there if I really cannot get to it. I do use the space above my fridge to keep things um, you know, contained and I use bins to sort of hide the clutter. Um, we just keep our like big water bottles, which I really need to go through that basket because we've just gotten a few new ones and it's, as you can see, it's like overflowing, but we keep things, um, like our water bottles and sports bottles and all of that in this one. And this bin is more of like seasonal stuff. So right now I have some Easter stuff in there. Um, I keep like Christmas candy and stuff like that um, during the Christmas holiday. I keep Valentine's stuff in there. You know, just sort of like those seasonal things. So I try not to keep it full of stuff that I, um, you know, would need all year round. I sort of switch out that bin seasonally. So over here, again, this cabinet is a little bit more difficult to access just because it's sort of a, at a weird angle here where their cabinet sort of comes to a corner. So over here, I do have um, these two shelves dedicated for our baking goods. So I don't have enough storage in my food cabinet to store all of this stuff. And I don't bake um, on a real regular basis. So I keep this stuff stored here. I have sort of our sugars and flours and ingre baking ingredients on this shelf. And then I keep all of my baking mixes and sprinkles. I have an extra pie crust and um, pie filling and that sort of thing over here up on that shelf. And then in this bin, I keep our hand mixer and our cookie cutters. Um, down here in this bin, I just keep all of our most used medications such as vitamins, Tylenol, you know, those things that we're grabbing at more frequently, um, I just keep there. And then on this top shelf, like I said, I'm super short and that shelf I cannot reach unless I have a step stool. So again, I just keep things that I don't use on a regular basis. We have a magic bullet that I really don't use very often, so I keep that in that basket and all of the, um, 
you know, accessories to it up in that basket. And then over here we keep some, those are like my husband's stuff. I keep trying to get him to go through it and trying to get him to purge it because we don't use them as often, but we have things such as like a um, hamburger patty, you know, press. This is actually an apple peel thing, which we just don't use, but he wants to hold on to it. So, um, and then we have like a sliders press thing and a um, jalapeno stuffer type thing. <laughs> so that obviously does not get used that often. So again, we just keep that up there. And then down here at this corner um, cabinet, which is one of those like Lazy Susan, um, you know, it spins. And I had the hardest time when I first moved in here trying to figure out what I wanted to use this for because a lot of times like when you spin it, the stuff kind of gets thrown all about. So I use containers and bins from the Dollar Tree just to keep the things contained. So that way, if they do get knocked over, they're not like spilling all over the place. They're just getting knocked over in the bin that they belong in. So I use this as sort of our kid cabinet. If you guys have kids, I strongly suggest trying to carve out an area of your kitchen for all of their plates and cups and all of that stuff because it is a great way for them to be independent. They, my kids come in here and can get their own cups and plates and silverware and all that stuff. So we just keep the cups that have like the straws and the big kid cups over here. Um, again, just our bowls and plates over here. These are specifically used for the kids. Um, and then I keep all my sippy cups in here. Like I said, I do have a home daycare, so I need a lot, a lot, a lot of sippy cups. Um, and then down here I have a bin of plastic um, forks and spoons because with the daycare, I am just going through so much silverware throughout the day that um, right now plastic is a lot easier. I have a baby in my daycare, so this is just um, some of his food. And then over here, we just have some bowls and plastic silverware. Um, and even some like little Chinese chopstick type things. They're like little trainers for the kids. So um, we just keep everything kind of pertaining to the kids as far as dishes and silverwares and cups right here. And that works out really, really well. So now moving over to this cabinet, which is right below our sink, I use this as our sort of, oops, um, cleaning and all of that sort of supply stuff. So over here, I just keep our paper towels. I just kind of stack them up there. I have my cleaning caddy here, so I can just grab this out. These are all of my mostly used or most used um, cleaning supplies. So when I am cleaning the house, I can pull this out and carry it from room to room. I find it so helpful to have a little cleaning caddy. I have two bins down here because we have a lot of plumbing under this. I'm sorry for the lighting, um, but we do have a lot of plumbing under this cabinet and it's really hard to find organizers that fit under here. We have our food thing here and just pipes and it's just a lot of plumbing. So I find that the easiest way for me to store things in an organized fashion is these bins again from the Dollar Tree. I keep all of our extra cleaning supplies in this one and then I keep all of my um, trash bags and dishwasher detergents in this one. So again, I keep it pretty simple down here, but it really does work for us. And then in the way back there, I keep extra flashlights um, just in case the power goes out. And another tip I have is to use the inside of your cabinets as extra storage space. So here I just have a little bag kind of um, hung up there on a command hook and it holds all of our rags and all of my um, like Swiffer, you know, mop type things. So that way I can, um, you know, have them right here. They're out of the, they're not taking space up down in this cabinet, but they're still very easily accessible. Okay, now moving over to this section of our kitchen. I'm going to show you how I have organized these drawers and cabinets in this area. So up here in this cabinet, I just keep our Tupperware and our mixing bowls and like glassware. So glassware, I don't use uh, as often. So I keep that on the top shelf. I keep all of our plastic mixing bowls over here. Um, I have a few smaller mixing bowls here and then our large Tupperware. Um, and then on this shelf is all just Tupperware. So I do have 
like a larger, it's like a square, um, this size Tupperware. That's what gets used the most. So that is in the fridge right now with leftovers. Um, and then I like to buy the type of Tupperware that has the containers that snap onto the lids. It's just really easy to organize them because you know that the containers match up with their lid. They're right there, easy to grab. You're not searching for a match. They're all just organized nice and neatly. So I keep um, these three size, small, medium, and large. Tupperware containers here and then over here I do have even larger size um, a few containers and then our like sandwich and lunch making Tupperware that goes right into here and then these are just ones that my husband got I think at work or something I'm not sure so we reuse those wash them and reuse them this drawer right underneath is where we keep all of our aluminum foil our clear plastic our large zipper um, bags, smaller zipper bags, crock pot liners. Um, I like to keep it right next to the Tupperware because when I'm making lunches or my dinners um, for my husband to take to work, then I can just have all the supplies that I need here. Um, so I also keep an apron back here and then a few hot plates. The drawer underneath here is where I keep um, kind of like, I call it like my party cabinet. This is like all of the essentials that I need and when I'm hosting or having a party. So I have large serving trays up top here. I don't use the serving trays all the time, but um, they are fairly easily accessible up there. Down here I keep some vases and um, then behind there I keep kind of like our old party stuff. So leftovers that I've had with parties. Um, so like cups and silverware and these two bags I have um, are leftover napkins and plates from parties that we've had and then these are our smaller serving dishes. These mostly are seasonal. A lot of our Easter and fall, winter, Christmas, that sort of um, serving platters go there. All right now moving up to this cabinet we just keep um, our punch bowl and the dish or the cups that go along with that and then just extra wine glasses and like party glasses up there. Now moving on to this section over here, um, the top two cabinets. This is where we keep most of our cups and dishes. So over here on this side we just have our cups. These are our most used cups. And then I have some margarita glasses. These are like my husband's like beer glasses. And then just more um, like whiskey glasses and that sort of thing up top there. Um, on this top shelf we have, this is all the same collection. So these are my serving platters and um, dishes from this collection. I like to keep that all together. Um, our bowls, we have large bowls and small bowls. We have our coffee mugs here. And then we have our small plates and large plates. So, so again, just having all of our dishes and cups in the same general area makes it a lot easier when I'm going to set the table or pulling plates down to prep for dinner. Um, and it also makes it a lot easier putting it away. Down here in these two drawers, we have all of our silverware in this drawer here. And again, it's nice because it's right below where our dishes are. So again, when it comes time for making um, the or setting the table, I have everything I need right in the same general area. And then over here is where we keep all of our miscellaneous utensils, the utensils that we don't use on a regular basis. I do keep the utensils I use on a regular basis on the stove and just push it over when I'm cooking. Um, that way they're just very easily accessible there. But the utensils that I don't necessarily use or even like kitchen gadgets, like I have all my wine stoppers here, um, wine opener and can opener thing here. Um, my husband uses this for like barbecuing sometimes. And just, you know, all of our miscellaneous kitchen utensils and tools we keep in this drawer. I got this organizer from the Dollar Tree and it is really neat because instead of just throwing everything in here, they are separated and all of these bins actually clip onto each other. So when you open and close the drawer, they're not going to go anywhere. They all stay nice and um, neat and clip together. So I really like those organizers from the Dollar Tree. 
Um, the cabinets right below we have where I keep my pots and pans and my small uh, appliances. So on this top shelf here, I ha usually have my crock pot there, but I'm making something in the crock pot right now, so that's being used. And then I just keep a griddle right over here, and this is actually like a cheese slicer that I keep on top of that. I like to keep this shelf fairly open and just have the things that we use most frequently there because if I start stacking things on top of the griddle, then it's a pain to get out and I'm not going to want to use it. <laughs> um, and then down here, I keep all of my like pots and um, skillet pans right over here and I just can easily pull it out and grab what I need and then just kind of shove it back in there. And then right here, I put all of our pot lids. So just having a separate place to keep our pot lids. Now I did take off our shelf liner because it was getting so bunched up and gross. I am planning on replacing that. I just haven't had time to do that yet. Um, but yes, yeah, so our pot lids are there and then our larger pots are over here with some measuring cups and strainer that I keep right inside of that and our cutting boards I just slide right over there and again I'm utilizing the inside of our cabinets I keep our hot mitts there so when I'm cooking I can just easily grab those and over here I keep all of my measuring cups and whatnot because again you don't have to, you don't want to be searching for them so I know exactly where they are they're easily accessible and everything stays pretty organized and last but not least here we have a little kitchen cart um, this is really great because it just provides a little bit more surface space and another working space for me when I'm cooking or preparing meals um, and so how I've organized this is this top drawer holds all of our kitchen towels and washcloths I did a huge deal Deep cleaning on Sunday so I used several of these washcloths they're in the wash right now but that's where I keep all of my washcloths and then down here is where I keep a lot of my um, recipe books or all of them I should say these are all my recipe books that I have so I keep all of my recipe books and magazines over here and then on this top shelf I keep my meal planner and then over and here I just have a few um, recipe boxes that I keep so like again I keep that pretty decluttered but it's nice to have all of this meal planning type material in one space. Alright guys so that is how we have organized our kitchen drawers and cabinets again just trying to keep them decluttered and organized and having things placed in an area that makes sense for the layout of our kitchen keeping things that we don't use very often up at a higher reach areas or harder to reach areas and just going through our cabinet seasonally to make sure that we are keeping them decluttered really helps us have a functioning kitchen. You don't have to have a huge kitchen in order for it to function well for you. Just keeping things decluttered and organized is really key. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.